Formula One's 2014 season will see a drastic rule change. The current 2.4-litre V8 engines will be replaced by 1.6-litre V6 power plants that are turbocharged, as well as incorporating an energy recovery system. Mercedes-AMG high-performance powertrains, based here in Northamptonshire, in Britain's Motorsport Valley, is already one of the leading engine makers in Formula One racing. Next year gives it the opportunity to consolidate that position. Already four teams, including the Mercedes-AMG Petronas team itself, plan to run Mercedes engines. That compares with the four likely takers for the motor that French rival Renault has just unveiled, which it calls Energy F1. Cosworth, one of the most famous names in racing engines, decided not to make a Formula One motor to next year's specification. Mercedes engines are among the most successful in Formula One. The latest triumph was at the Monaco Grand Prix, but next year's rules present a whole new set of challenges. The key regulation change is to go from a RPM capacity um, restricted um, formula to one where it's fuel flow and fuel quantity for the race. Um, and that leads to big um, energy conversion challenges both within the combustion chamber and also within the exhaust system to recover as much energy from the exhaust system rather than just putting that out to the atmosphere. How much of that feeds into road engine technology? What we've seen over the last, say, 10 years is on the naturally aspirated engine, um, we've seen things like cylinder deactivation um, that we run through corner in, in a Grand Prix. We've seen that be introduced um, on some AMG models, and we've also seen improvements that we've made in coatings and surface finish migrate into road car. Um, then with Kerr's introduction, and specifically on the, on the battery, the development of a, a high-performance, high-energy density battery, we've found that that has transferred across into, into road car world. Um, and we've recently here at HPP done the, um, the battery for the um, um, AMG SLS electric drive, which recently set the record at the Nürburgring for an electric car. So we've seen that sort of transfer of technology. I think though with the new regulations that we've got for 2014, we'll see far more transfer of technology in, into the road car world. As consumers that go and buy uh, vehicles, what we're very interested in is how far will the car go on a tank of fuel, or going the same distance with a smaller tank and therefore a cheaper tank of fuel. The key change for 2014 is to change the regulations to be fuel conscious for conversion efficiency to mean performance in a racing sense, but using technologies that are being introduced in, in, in the road car world over the next five to 10 years. I think the system architecture for the power unit for 2014 is, um, it, it is probably gonna be uh, the, the system architecture that's widely used in the road car world. Um, it's, a, it's a hybrid system. So it's got a, a significant power um, and energy electric drive, and it's got a highly efficient internal combustion engine. And I think what we will see going forward is that the marriage of those two um, will be the key player going forward in the transport industry. Energy efficiency and relevance to the world outside motor racing are two of the key reasons for the changes in engine specifications next year and such aims often run the risk of taking some of the buzz out of competition. But if Mercedes is right, we'll see racing that's every bit as close and spectacular as it's ever been, and see technological gains that will cascade quickly down to road cars moving up the leaderboard.